The PlayStation 2 pod adjustment mod is the one that might just save your console when you think it doesn't have any more life left in it. First off, you're going to want to go ahead and remove any disc that may still be inside your PlayStation 2 Slim. Then go ahead and shut that and we can flip the PlayStation 2 over onto its backside where we'll see six screws that are covered by caps. I'll go ahead and reveal the ones that you need to remove right about now. After you've done that, you can go ahead and pry around the edges of the PlayStation 2. You'll hear a few creaks and cracks here and there, but it's perfectly fine, just keep prying up at it. Once you've done that, you'll notice the disk drive assembly itself is held in by four screws. You're going to want to go ahead and remove all four of these screws, like so. I always recommend keeping screws in a safe place as well. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and remove the power lead to the disk drive motor, as well as the power line at the back to the lens motor that moves it back and forth. Now we can go ahead and lift the entire assembly backwards, just rotate it to the back, don't actually try to remove it. And then you'll notice the one lead that we didn't disconnect is still plugged in to a little socket here on the assembly. Go ahead and lift the tab on the back and pull out that cord. Now the assembly is yours to move around freely, it is no longer attached to the board. So what we're going to want to do with that assembly is flip it over onto its backside, where you'll actually see two screws, one labeled CD and one labeled DVD. Go ahead and turn both of these clockwise about two degrees, maybe a little less. That essentially is the potentiometer mod right there. Now, to make sure we did this properly, we want to go ahead and get our voltmeter, set it to ohms measurement, and measure each side of the screw. You'll see that your voltmeter should give you something between 720 or higher. Mine was too low, I had to increase it. Anything below that, and you might damage the lens. That's about it. You should be able to read games pretty easily now. If you don't, you might have further issues. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you next time.